Hi, I'm Wolfgang Buck, and this is everything I eat in a day. The first thing I do when I wake up is open my eyes, and then I start to think about coffee. Our housekeeper is roasting coffee every morning. So we have an Ethiopian coffee for breakfast. It takes him 20 minutes to roast the coffee, to grind the beans, and then make a traditional Ethiopian coffee. And then I might have some toast with a little marmalade on top, which reminds me of Austria. My mother used to make homemade marmalade. Or sometimes maybe a yogurt with some fresh berries from the farmer's market. But breakfast for me, the most most important thing is the coffee. I love coffee so much. The only way I drink tea is when I go to Japan and I love when they do the tea ceremony and you get the green tea, which they mix right in front of you. Sometimes when I cannot sleep at home, I go down in the kitchen and I make myself a tea with fresh ginger, fresh mint, some honey, and maybe a little chamomile or something like that. But Really, coffee is my favorite drink. My favorite lunch is when I go to the Bel Air Hotel and I tell Chef Mike, prepare me whatever you think. I want a light lunch, not too heavy, and I only have an hour. You can give me five dishes or just one dish. At the Bel Air, sitting outside, there's no better place in the world. My favorite lunch to cook at home is probably something really simple. I have a grill and I grill some salmon. Maybe I have some vegetables from the farmer's market and grill them too. Chop up some tomatoes with some olive oil, some fresh basil, shallots, and maybe a little chili flakes and make a vinaigrette with that and eat that with the fish. I must say, I love sorbet. So to finish with a little raspberry sorbet or mango or coconut sorbet with some fresh berries on top is always great. And naturally, if it's on the weekend, I will have some rosé with it. There are people who are workaholics. I'm a shockaholic. Chocolate for me is the perfect snack. I love a good nougat. Della, the pastry chef at Spago, makes some amazing nougat. I used to live in South of France near Montelimar, which is the capital of nougat, and I still remember it. And the way Della makes it, it is just as good. For me, there is only one chocolate. It's dark chocolate, and it has to have at least 65% of cocoa. Even my son, Oliver, he used to come to, with me to Spargo and we have all these different kinds of chocolates there. And he asked Della, the pastry chef always, and said, Della, is that 65%? And she said, how do you know about that? And now he's going up to 90%. So chocolate is my favorite. Dinner for me is really an important part because we sit down with the family, with the children. Sometimes we have takeout from Spargo, but when I cook at home, for example, I will make a simple fish underneath the broiler. I use a filet of Lou de Mer or I'll use a filet of black bass or striped bass, butter it or put olive oil on it and then put breadcrumbs with some fresh herbs, with some lemon peel and serve it with a little lemon vinaigrette on the side and just serve it that way. Now I also use my rice cooker often because my children love rice. I much rather eat vegetables on the side, but rice is always popular. So often I make a rice with vegetables in it, or maybe I have a little leftover chicken breast or something, and I chop it up and add to it to give it more flavor. At the end of the dinner, the children love our chocolate souffle. So I bring the chocolate souffle home from Spargo, so I only have to bake it, or even sometimes I make with them the molten chocolate cake, which is really easy to make because it's just melting chocolate with butter, fold it in and bake it for 12 to 15 minutes and you get the best chocolate cake you could imagine. I know my kids could eat two of them each one. I really believe exercise is really important, mainly to stay in shape. My favorite sport is tennis. I also have a trainer who comes a few times a week. Instead of having a garage, I build a gym in the garage. I go on the elliptical for 30 minutes, do some weights, and I'm trying to do some yoga now. About a month ago, I had back surgery, so now I'm a little laying low. I didn't exercise much the last month, and for sure no tennis. So I hope 
in a month or so that the doctor will give me the okay to go back to my daily routine doing the exercise. And when I exercise, it creates these endorphins in my brain and I feel good and I feel very positive. My most important ingredients I have at home is in the refrigerator. It's champagne. I want to have champagne around all the time. It's more important than any food. I think if it's uh, Renau or if it's Krug, which is my favorite, champagne is my favorite ingredient. I would say my favorite food city is probably Tokyo, but I don't go there that often. I go more often to Europe. So to me, San Sebastian in the Basque region is really my favorite place. And you know, they have great three-star restaurants, but walking around in downtown with all these tapas bars is really an amazing experience where you go from one to the other. I remember going into one and they had these beautiful langoustines. They had some great sausages and obviously the jamon, you know, the Spanish ham, which is amazing. And then there is a place who has also a pastry store and they make the best Basque style cheesecake. It is so creamy that any other cheesecake, you would think, what are they doing? They don't know how to make a cheesecake. I'm even making it at Spargo now because I like it so much, which is a cheesecake cooked at high temperature, so it's creamy inside. I mean, you can dream of it. You know, the favorite meal for me to cook is really sharing it with family or friends. I started to make Wiener Schnitzel in our home. And just to see my kids face light up. When friends came and said, oh my God, how you get anything that nice and crispy and put a little lemon juice and serve it with a warm potato salad. My mother used to make it. I remember Sunday morning when we came home from church, I could smell outside, it smelled already, the way she was frying it with half oil and half pork fat and it had this amazing taste. So you should try it. You will get Austrian citizenship. You will like it so much. And that is everything I eat in a day. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to look how we actually do the biggest parties in the world at HBO Max. It's called the event. Watch it, it is amazing and exciting.